And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Siren Scouts. That's right, we're going to be playing some Scout, Scout Aggro, but with the Siren. We don't get to play the Siren too often, so pretty excited about this one. Of course, the 7 mana 3 7 Scout. Whenever you play, you get to draw a Misfortune. And while we're attacking, we can do some extra damage. But our deck's going to be about that, about attacking. So we're going to have um, our two champions, of course, are Misfortune and Quinn, that both want to see us attack four times. And we should be attacking twice a turn. Got plenty of scouts. So we got Grizzled Ranger, obviously Quinn, Razor Scale Hunter, pretty good scout, Siren, and Genevieve Elmhart. Basically another champion in here. So all of those scouts... Um, we e are even playing three Relentless Pursuit because we need to attack more. <laughs> the Relentless Pursuit is going to be best used on our opponent's turn so that we can get two attacks on our opponent's turn. Because if we can, if we're Relentless Pursuit on our turn, we get one extra attack. But if we do it on our opponent's turn, then we get an extra scout attack and then a regular attack after that. So that will really help um, cards like Misfortune and Quinn level up. Um, going back to trying War Chefs. Let's see. Let's see how little old War Chefs does. Um, and Crackshot Corsair also being rewarding for attacking a bunch. So here we go. Let's go attack with some Siren Scouts. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. And let's see if we can get a three and two. We haven't gotten a three and two yet today. Let's see if we can go three and two or better. But we've definitely had a good, interesting variety of decks today and decks that don't play very often and don't see very often. Uh, let's see. All right, so we got one drop, two drop. Guess we keep Grizzled Ranger as well. We got Doggo Cam going back here. Her name's Puppy. She's super excited about this deck, as you can tell. Together, we can do this. No one goes hungry. Or at least War Chefs doesn't doesn't die immediately. So that's good. Okay, got that attack in. Three points of damage. Really don't want to see Fiora. Just don't have Fiora. That'll make life easier. Mentor of the Stenomans. I'll shoot the wings off a of Bilgewas. Go, floaty crystals. No time to rest. Came a long way from both. All right, they got four three Tiari. We're just gonna wait on the bright steel protector. Not gonna play it yet. Day base camp. Tomorrow, the summit. I've got us covered. I will reach the peak. So basically saving Protector for a future turn of being able to, to use Protector. Um, a future turn, maybe. You know, maybe I was supposed to play it and just block the Tiari with that with that attack. Um, but I just like I like being able to attack him with the scout and make sure it's it stays alive and be able to attack again and stuff like that. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So it kind of feels like... Kind of feels like maybe that was single combat that they were thinking about playing. And unfortunately, small war chefs... Is just gonna die. I will reach the peak. Okay. I want to kill the the little one one and take all this extra damage. I'm fine with that. So we're being the aggressor. We're really caring about their life total more than removing units. Now I gotta play protector. Now I mean I guess. I gotta play something else. I guess I gotta use Protector on the Crackshot Corsair now. I won't stop now. Yeah, Mega Rain would have been such a great draw. So we could just do trades with the TREs. 
if they want to make these attacks. Which that probably sounds like what do I want to do. Probably have 1, 2, block 2, 1, and then 3, 4, block. Okay. With that attack, go over here. Is that even better than this? Yeah, probably. So I could repost back. Save a 3 4. Man. Okay. You're covered. Protege is pretty nice. All right, there we go. That's a good use for the repost. First attack. Put them down to four. Nope, they're blocking. Ooh. That's a good hush. But they are at seven. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Seven's not the best place to be. GG's. So Siren Scouts are 1-0. Playing a lot of Trundle Trindamir today. Uh, this could be okay for us. We, you know, Maybe we can attack a whole bunch, being able to attack lots of turns. That could be beneficial. Why does it ask me to pass if I don't get to play this? Because I want to play it. <laughs> Smell that? A bite to cook it. No prey. Yeah, we gotta just play Misfortune and start getting attacks in. So Misfortune can see us attack. Okay, so they have Catalyst of Aeons. No, no, maybe not. Oh, Avalanche and Unspeakable Horror. Ouch. That's maybe worse. Siren is like awesome for us this game. So do I probably just leave this hearth guard at being uh, just three health and then do an extra point of damage to them. That's what I'm thinking. Um, obviously we could we could have pumped up the protege dealt one more damage there. But I don't think that we do. So they're at 11. So they gotta have Troll Chant. Does it make sense having them spend the two mana on Troll Chant if I just block with Grizzled Ranger and just like go through and then attack with everything? So Troll Chant would give this 5 health, would give this 2 attack, so this would still have 3 power, or 3 health afterwards, sorry, 3 health afterwards. Um, with your yapping. And then, and then I just, okay, we'll just Flash Freeze, alright, so that takes up 3 health, 3 mana. That's good for me, they don't have Flash Freeze now, so I'd 
Because I'm just going to attack out with everything, have Protégé challenge. And... It's like, that's 11. I don't know, maybe I pump this thing up now. So it's only negative one, not negative two. But I guess now we would be taking out Hearthguard. Right, more flash freeze. Doesn't make too much sense for me to play more things if they can have ruination. We, you know, we got four to. Four things out here right now. I wish I could play the Siren and Misfortune. Well, we're definitely playing the Siren. And then Crackshot Corsair. Pretty good. So now that this is going to do two damage, and I can go make it rain for an additional two damage. All right, GG's. And the siren taking it down. Ooh. All right, we got. Going to have a race here. We're going to mulligan all of these top end cards, keep the protector, look for cheaper stuff. Not exactly cheaper stuff. Okay, it's no cheaper stuff. The I'll shoot the wings off a Bilgewas. They'll never see it coming. Came a long way for both. Absolutely. So the scout mechanic is where if if you if you attack and you only attack with scouts and nothing else, then you get to attack again. So it's like they get to scout ahead kind of thing. So you can't have two attacks each turn if you only attack with scouts. I'm one of the good guys, but no. hey there, Red. Well, that's one fantasy come true. Shield up! So of course, I didn't want to trade it last turn because I didn't want to take the damage on my turn for their gangplank leveling up. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Keep up, keep up. Alright, so we have the attack token, right? So I'm attacking with only scouts. Like Grizzled Ranger's a scout. So nothing else is attacking, so that means that we get to attack one additional time. time to get rowdy. I could certainly see trading misfortunes. I think I do. I know what I'm doing. Well, they 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 have to. Like, if it's offered, you gotta trade. Otherwise, it's just too much damage. Because if I keep, if I don't do this, then I don't get to like block with my Grizzled Ranger much at, at all. Um. We're real close to leveling up that Misfortune with just one more turn of attacks. It's a tough call. There's blood in the water. Yep, there's Jack. You wanted Wrath. Jenny? That. We're gonna attack. Now use the 
Assholes. Could just attack like this. All right, so let's put him down to four. Ooh, what is that block? I mean, I couldn't, I can't challenge the, I can't challenge the Jack the Winner. Remember, I could, could only, I couldn't keep Genevieve at full health with like my first attack because they could just have Jack block Genevieve. I couldn't do anything about that. All right, so that went well for us, for the most part. I'm sorry. Could have gone a little bit better if, if it wasn't too, you know, it's too Nexus damage. Would have been a little bit better if it would have hit the Hunter twice. Do I want to use my entire turn to play the Siren? Or are we playing War Chef's Protégé? Explosives Prime. So Gangplank's at 4 out of 5, so if they have Gangplank, and then, I just hope they, just please don't have Gangplank. If they have Gangplank, we're going to need the Siren to block Gangplank. Just, just don't have it, please. No prey. No okay, that's prey. better. Not Gangplank. This will shake him. All right, so I'm at nine. So they're gonna have to have like nine direct nexus damage this turn with ten mana. Fortune favors the Not gonna be easy. Look alive, captain's here. It's possible. Is it possible? Yeah, I mean it'd have to be like fervor plus fervor plus you know something else. Make it rain. Ooh. No Sejuani. Usually with these two regions and Ash, you see Sejuani, but no Sejuani. Um, I actually like Make It Rain in this matchup, assuming, if, you know, if they have like Ice Veil Archer and uh, Trifarian Glory Seeker Let's get and those kind of cards. I do like Make It Rain. And I. So they play Averroes and Sentry. Oh, we still just attack. Okay, now this this should work out, I think. But yeah, also Avros and Sentry, Omen Hawk, other things that make a rain can kill. Two, three War Shafts, we just be slamming down. Yeah, Ice Veil Archer. All right, so that means they can trade their Ice Veil Archer for my Crack Shot Corsair if they would mind. Which, at the end of the day, I traded a one drop for a two drop. It's probably good, but with me holding Mega Rain, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so not not great for me. Well, I'm really glad that they used brittle steel, right? Aren't I glad about that? Fortune favors the bold. I think, because you know they can only ha they can have a li limited number of brittle steels, right? So it's good that they use that one. See the Debastian border from here. There's the Avrosen Sentry. Do we just get eight damage in? A true Felyodian welcome. Nope. Here we go. Look out for Reavers. Sure. Now. So I'm hoping they don't have another Brittle Steel. So my Grizzled Ranger can just block Ash. How you doing? That would be uh, prefer 
preferable. Preferable? Preferable. No. I'll lead us to victory. Preferable. Yeah, turn five ash level up. That's not something you see every day. I mean, nice to still have. Right. That would have been quite nice to this still have Misfortune in play. No, come on. The only one I wanted to hit. Didn't hit. I just want to hit Rhymefang Wolf and then have War Chefs pump up the Valor and kill Rhymefang Wolf. That's that's all I wanted to do there. Victory requires a sharp blade. Yeah, you're right. I, I should have just attacked with the three four, I guess. But basically, I didn't want them to play more things. I you know I wanted to be able to hit, play the Mega Rain while it was so close. Just such a good combination. Brittle Steel, Rhymefang Wolf, and Ash when you're not playing any removal. Which is so difficult to deal with. You're mine. Taste the glory. The time is right. Strike now. The good news is they're running out of cards. They have to run out of frostbite spells eventually. Remember me. I still have I got some I got some bullets over here. We're not done yet. You're covered. We got some bullets. So we can do this first, see if we want to play Genevieve Elmhart or is a mountain and covered in ice. Misfortune. Okay, so that should be Ash, which would be it should be Ash. That should be just another flash freeze. Oh, back. So we can flash freeze Genevieve and kill and kill Genevieve here. Like obviously, if it's harsh winds, this is a problem. I can do the attacks separately. the The reason to do these together is so that we can see if they flash freeze the Valor, then I can then have Genevieve. Um, challenge the the Ash afterwards. They didn't play Harsh Winds last turn. I don't think they have Harsh Winds. I think they have Flash Freeze. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll, I guess we'll try this with the 4-4, just to make sure. But, okay, that was a card they still had in their hand. This is not Flash Freeze. Culling Strike. Okay. So they have Culling Strike and Flash Freeze. Um, any reason to make them use Flash Freeze this turn? No one goes hungry. Yeah, I guess that's the reason to make them use it this turn is that we get to attack for seven. Oh, the that was still right. that was not even the Ash. This was the Ashes Flash Freeze, was this card, right? So they have another Ashes Flash Freeze in hand. Many tribes under one banner. No, maybe not. Uh, wanna go to my turn? Cool, I'm going I'm cool with going to my turn. Alright, so we're going to play Misfortune first. One of the good guys, but not that good. You earn the right to call themselves oh, Trifarian. That's not very good. I'll defend these forests to the end. I should play Crackshot Corsair first. We fight for one frail yard. Yeah. Should've done that. Cover me, Crackshot. You got it, Captain. Well, every single thing, every single one of these does kill my Genevieve with a flash freeze. Captain's orders. Hold it 
to the face. The time is right. Strike now. Yep. So many of those. So gotta block both of these. So let's see, my 5-4 trades with like a 5-4, the 2-4 just gets killed. Problem is if I just attack with one of these, it just dies. So if we're gonna have just one thing just die anyway, if I, ju if I just send in one unit and it just dies anyway, might as well trade here, because trading is good for me. So might as well send in the other one as well. I know a challenge when I see one. Let's see. That was a big time Triparian Assessor draw. Of the, the morsel of Press on. The War Mother will unite us all. Got your back. I guess I should be bearing. I should be. Oh uh, yeah, I should be doing it to the Crackshot Corsair, right? Because this just dies. Either way. The time is right. Strike now. Got you in my sights. Yep. Should have done it to the Corsair. It's crazy how good Rampang Wolf and Ash are. Show them the way. Yeah, it's true. They would have just flash freezed it. That's true. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Hmm. These woods belong to us. Six sixes are definitely a problem. Protect and strike. Six sixes are definitely a problem. Hold nothing back. I just don't get to. I'm uh -huh. gonna do anything very good against these hearth guards. Man, great game for them. GG's. Right thing. Um, just kept on cycling Ash's flash freezes, but yeah, if my if my make it rain with the four targets, just one of those would have hit the Rhyme Thing Wolf. I think we would have won that game. Alright, Fiora Taric. We're definitely gonna need to have just a lower curve. I'm gonna keep Repost. Repost seems like it's a vital card in this kind of matchup. Repost and back-to-back -back are kind of the same thing, though. Don't really need both of them. Well, you know, we'll see if I do. It was a good game, though, that we just had. That was a good at long game. Definitely done my share, my fair share of winning with Ash and Rhymefang Wolf. Can't be too mad at it. Break their spirits and their swords. Who does not know the name Laurent? So I don't want to pass priority and then they just pass and don't do four damage to me, right? Like I don't want to waste that mana. This isn't that big of a deal. Okay, well, that makes it a whole lot worse. There's another worst case scenario for us. We've been having a lot of that the last two games. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm up. yeah, no, yeah, no Fleet Feather Tracker. We're not. We got a, a deck that's going pretty big on the curve. All 
Alright, I got that hush out of their hands. That's important. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Slow down, will you? Still got make another Mega Rain available. Let them eat so. Try me. Ah, uh, plus one, plus one, and a spell shield. Give me a break. Thought we were good. Guess not. Their pride will cost them. And spell shield. I know that still doesn't stop repost, but it's possible they don't just have the best card sometimes, though, right? Like they don't always just have to automatically have the best card. Like, you don't just have to have single combat now. Yeah, we're going to try and make it rain. Hopefully this just works. Single combat would be really brutal. Come on. Oh, that's not... This will be quick. I mean, okay. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting them to just kill my 5-5 five five and then keep their thing alive. But, I guess... Yeah, it's just like them doing that, and then I attack, and they just block. So it makes sense. Same thing. All right, well, that was as bad as that turn could go for us. That's how it went, but still, we have one more card than them, and Grizzled Ranger is better than Fiora just straight up, and we have one extra card. So we're still we're in the driver's seat right now, and they have less life. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. If I play Genevieve, then... Grizzled Ranger turns into a 4-2, so they don't get a free challenge on it with Protégé. But then I can't stop any spell, like any like a spell with Fiora killing my Genevieve. Like, like a repost or something like that. That's still trading one for one. We're doing that. That's my best play. Yeah, they have another repost in hand. I mean, if they have a repost, then repost kills uh, Genevieve Elmhart. And that's still just trading one for one. Like, that's just trading my Genevieve Elmhart for their repost. But that's like, and so, like, that's like my worst case scenario, right? So, like, worst case scenario, we trade one for one. So, there's. So, playing the Genevieve Elmhart is the best thing to do. Ooh. Looking for trouble? It found you. All right. Looking for some trouble. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. These woods belong to us. Hmm. I don't get to play Repost here and then also like Protege. Like I can't play both of those. Where I like back to back. It's a possibility. So I guess I just go repost also. And then we have war chefs. These war chefs can, can buff up the health of my Genevieve Elmhart to be six. So I can clear these other two cards. They so probably have to trade Fiora for a misfortune. And then they're left with nothing in play. And they're down to four. Could you take it all, go to one? Wow. All right, taking it all, going to one. I'm sorry. Realize they can't. Can't trade away their whole board, I suppose. All right, misfortune. Make it rain. Here and ends at the top. That finished out the 4-1. GG's. Alright, played that one well. That's why I'm the captain. 
things worked out a little better than against the Ash deck where our Ash, or sorry, where our Mega Rain missed their Rhymefang Wolf in that matchup. And this time Mega Rain uh, did its thing, but uh, they only had two units in play each time that I played Mega Rain. Yeah, I like this list. So we, we didn't really draw Relentless Pursuit, never never really cast Rel Relentless Pursuit. That's probably why we were winning. <laughs> I, I am one person that has been staunch on Relentless Pursuit. It's not very good. Now, if you can get set up, you know, in the late game, and then you just have, like, one Relentless Pursuit, that's fine. But imagine, like, those matches, like, after we mulligan and we just draw, like, two Relentless Pursuits right away. Like, the game's over. We would have just lost. So I'm glad that never happened. Um, we did get to do some cool stuff with Siren once. Maybe twice. I know we played the Siren. Yeah, the Siren was just fine, because it would have blocked Gangplank effectively, too, if they had Gangplank. Um, Warchefs did okay. It wasn't terrible. It was it was fine. It did okay. Grizzled Ranger was an all-star. Like, Misfortune, Grizzled Ranger, Genevieve Elmhart. Those three cards were our all-stars. Definitely. But this is a fun list to play. Lots of attacking. I liked the Mega Rains. All right, so, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Siren Scouts, and I'll see you for the next video.